So this is Wild Frost. All I've really heard about this game is it's like Slay the Spire mixed with Hearthstone. I don't know really what to expect. I'm not expecting to be great. That's a lie. I'm expecting to do fantastic. Let's do it. Choose your leader. A barrage is all targets in a row. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like move the camera over. Shell blocks damage. Gain two shell on kill. What the hell? And then there's one that gives nothing. Oh, they have stats. I didn't even see their stats. Nine attack, three. Okay, nine health, three attack. Nine attack, three health. So two extra attack. I don't really know what this means. I feel like this is really good though. It all targets in the row. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Let's call him Leo. This journal belongs to Leo. <laughs> this is a very nice menu. Is there music in this game? I just hold on. It's going to tilt me. Hold on. Hold on. I just realized that my webcam is actually not touching the top and now it's pissing me off. Okay. Start each battle. Drag your leader from your hand onto the battlefield. Foxy is one of your companion cards. Give him get him on the battlefield okay so this is foxy get on here use your scrappy sword to take out the pangoon this is two damage they have two health makes sense so just target it card counters reduced by each turn when they reach here the card will attack in one turn this will attack and deal nine damage okay so we probably don't want to do that so i guess i kill this okay wait what is this all right whatever we're just gonna kill this oh he didn't actually die Dude, I'm so used to Hearthstone, if I'm going to be honest, where the health is on this side and I'm looking at that. It's just a Hearthstone diff. Freeze counter and reactions counts down every turn. How much mana do I have? This guy's not attacking for three turns. This guy's not attacking for three turns. So we can just do this. There is no mana. It's one card per turn. Okay. You're almost out of cards. Get a new hand by hitting the redraw bell. Discard your hand. Draw six new cards. Not charged. This action will end your turn. This is an extremely interesting game. I should, we should probably do that, right? Yo, Foxy pop it off. Redraw bell. You can use the redraw bell at any time to discard your hand and draw six cards. Hitting the redraw bell will end your turn unless the bell is charged. It will become charged when its counter reaches zero. You must protect your leader. If they die, it's game over. Okay, so I probably shouldn't put Leo in the front then, correct? Chung Goon here is looking pretty beefy. I'm gonna wild snulf. Two turns, two turns. I can only play one card a turn. So I can kill this over two turns, but then this does five, oh, two. You were free to move that before you play a card, so I can do this. Okay, so that means Foxy will take damage first. And this guy only does two. Okay, let's kill this guy. The waves of players show the number of turns until the next wave of enemies. So this is the next wave of enemies. Okay. I think killing that's probably a good idea. Foxy's going to attack next turn and do one damage. God, Foxy doesn't do shit. But it times three. Oh, I see. So we can kill this guy. Oh. Oh shit. The Snow King. Grouchy. Need to fight this game to win the battle. So we need to kill this idiot. Whenever anything is in game plus one attack. Well, damage. Oh my god. So I want to do this next turn then, right? Leo will be attacking for three damage next turn. Which means we don't really want to freeze this. God, dude, the music's actually slapping. I'm a huge fan. I should probably keep Foxy alive, right? So I should probably do this. Oh, but she does everything. I forgot Leo's a freaking beast. So I definitely want to do this then. My hand looks pretty bad. Okay, so this guy's going to do one. He'll do damage soon. Can I kill this guy before it's too late? I can, right? So we can go Grouchy. Bye, Grouchy. Okay, so as long as I don't slow anything, this guy's just screwed, right? Yeah, all right. Sick. victory i guess we get money for killing stuff that was a really nice sun journal page get all cozy it's time to read as the snow began to fall and the temperature dropped we knew it was a storm like no other as the months went on the snow lingered and the cold grew harsher there was no escaping the wild frost as it spread like wildfire of snow and ice many believe the storm had an unnatural source brave adventurers set out into the wilderness determined to put an end to the storm i too decided to take on the challenge but like those who came before me i was unable to penetrate the heart of the storm if anyone is reading this use the knowledge within these pages to go forth and bring the sun back to our world together we could restore warmth and light to this frozen land that sounds like a really nice story all right break the ice Big Barry? Who the hell is Big Barry? 
<laughs> you can right click any card to inspect it on kill restore two health to self and allies in the row whoa Barry looks good he has 10 health and five attack I can't tell you how bad I want these two to swap deal eight additional damage to you oh so I believe this is just like slay the spire right where you want to start building when you want to start crafting your deck early on right so depending on what I pick here is how it's going to fundamentally change my deck do I want to go with snow build we do have snow cards into the deck this is a pretty beefy guy though big Barry I mean I, I kind of like big Barry just seems universally good all right Barry I'm gonna keep the name there's some bosses that are only capped at one snow max all right so all right we're definitely picking big Barry then treasure open it up deal damage every turn this does one damage for three turns this is a countdown this looks really good um we're not gonna go for the snow build I like the sun rod because that means that big berry gets better right mm, still hit them when the snow is still active I think I'm gonna go sun rod though right it seems really good with berry no it does three then two then one. Oh, okay I see I'm gonna go sun rod seems like it's good with berry oh shit now there's two lanes okay that seems really annoying I guess I'm gonna put Leo down here you can also inspect cards during a battle right here at the obo bear uba bear I don't know there's all cards out of icons of attack will hit their targets damage gel very six health okay cool place big berry on the battlefield too get in there big berry I what am I feeling here this guy's gonna do one damage I could probably wipe this guy out so in four turns more stuff will be summoned right which means if I just wipe out Chagoon this will do you three damage I only have to hit this guy twice and then we focus on the uber bear or do I want to kill the bear first I should kill the bear right this is good so I can't I can't just do this but reasons counter and reactions draw big berry in front of your leader to protect from attack so I can move this every single turn or does it have to be in the same lane oh, I guess it's in the same lane so this guy's gonna do one this guy's gonna do four he looks very upset so I don't actually necessarily want to hit him I think I'm gonna do this draw big berry oh wait I have to do that I have to do that that's why it's not working okay wait so what happens now does this guy just attack nothing your cards does not take a turn so you can still play a card I see I see so Barry will hit this guy this turn which means I just do this and then this guy just takes it oh I should have hit you know what I cringed there I should have hit this guy because then I would have got the two health for everybody I mean she's not gonna restore it but it would have been nice to have him a little higher health right so we're definitely gonna do this and recall companions to heal them draw big Barry back to your discard pile what if I didn't want to do that though I want Big Barry. All right, Foxy. Oh my God, this is actually insane, dude. This, 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 there's sensory overload in this game. It's, it's so much. Really, shout out to Hearthstone for making it so easy to understand what the hell is going on. Big Barry, I feel like he has to go there. So they were fully restore if I put him into the discard pile, which is actually pretty insane. Can I do that with my dude, or is Leo just dead? Might be the case here, right? Okay, so one attack, one attack. We killed this guy for free. I don't have a damage. Ooh, interesting. I don't have damage here. All right, can you explain what this game is about real quick? There's a snowstorm that apparently stops the sun from ever showing up. So I can also put Foxy in, but Foxy will die. Big Barry will protect him. Sunrun. So if I Sunrun now, it will only deal, it'll deal five to this guy. He'll deal one next turn. Can I put him in? So that takes, okay, putting a person in, putting a unit in takes up a turn. I think I'm just gonna make Barry even stronger. Because Barry will wait, hold on. If we swap this, that means he'll go first and then Barry will hit it and he'll restore his health. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll also just do this, I guess. Woo! All right, there's all my swords. Let's kill this idiot. Oh God, big pang. Who's this? Dude, I love the art is so cool in this game. Uh, gain plus one attack when an ally is killed. So we should hyper focus this guy, right? Also freeze this. This is taking two and three. Foxy's gonna take it here. He's at, he's at four, right? Do I need to worry about this? Okay, let me understand this correctly, chat. If I use the snow stick, then he he doesn't attack for two more turns, so it goes up to six. Is that how it works, or am I not understanding this correctly? I just want to make sure I'm understanding this. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's just focus. Let's focus on this person first. His attack going up doesn't matter. We can just do that next turn, right? All right, so he's not going to attack another turn. We kill him. Let's freeze his ass. Barry gets to restore the health. Oh! Let's go. 69 monies. What do you do with cash? Oh, I guess there's like... Okay, yeah. 
of the journal page. Many years ago, before the eternal winter, there was a mighty spirit in the sky known as the sun. The sun was the essence of all life, its radiant light providing warmth and nourishment to all living things. The golden light did not last forever. A terrible storm descended upon the land, engulfing the sun and leaving a lifeless cube of ice in the sky. Did you imagine? Now, all of that remains is a faint, empty light that offers no warmth or comfort. Okay, Get the treasure. What had is a clunker card? Clunkers are items that can be placed on battle to companion. So it's like an extra life. Reduces by one when any damage is taken. Oh, blocks damage. So this is shield. This is like, that actually is really interesting. Flame water. Rain is such a gamer. He hasn't even seen the sun. What do you mean? Mm, shell shield versus flame water. I think this is really good, right? I'm gonna take the attack. I'm gonna do the damage. Okay, uh, what is this versus this? This looks like, okay, Frozen Travelers is getting another member in your party, which is fine. This is the final boss. This is the charm. Treasure. Anyone know what the cave is, chat? Anyone know what the cave is? Coins. Blingzel gives gold. Cave is money. Do I need money? Like, I, I don't know how much anything is. I'm gonna go this way. I think this is safer. I kind of want the Frozen Travelers, right? This is, okay, I'm guessing the charm is where you can buy some, like, cards or something, right? Go this way. Let's try it out. 53 monies? Holy shit. Lilberry, oh my god, eight health when he's healed, gain plus two attack. Okay, Ooh. when an enemy is killed, apply three to the attacker. Wow, Shelly's kind of seems really good. Deal additional damage equal to those. Man, I don't know about that. Um, hmm. Shelly's kind of really interesting. Barry's kind of like uh, kind of pog though. The thing is, is we currently don't have any healing. Like giving health isn't the same thing as healing, right? I would imagine, but it is Barry. It's Lil Barry. I feel like if I don't take his little brother, it's gonna be really weird, right? I kind of watch Shelly though. I'll take Barry. bamboozle oh shit 18 health all right barry get in there all right we get more enemies soon oh my god okay hold on i gotta i gotta think this through hold on this is where like the the brain power actually comes out here killing him is one damage how much he has two counters okay so he'll do one damage every single two turns i think that's fine we have enough we have a decent amount of life from both our guys okay winter worm seems like the bigger issue compared to bamboozle but bamboozle also is a huge problem because he's, he's he's a big boy and he gets more stuff in four turns holy shit it's all enemies in a row so leo's gonna hit this and this right which means the sun rod here isn't actually the worst thing in the world maybe i should do this so it hits this Because Barry's going to get the life back anyways, right? No, but Barry's going to hit this guy first. Oh my God. Hold on, my brain. Yeah, hold on. Swap back. You're going down here. Because you'll hit here for free, which means I should hit this guy. He's going to be up in two. He's only doing three damage, but he's hitting all enemies here. I think I still want to hit this guy. This guy's spooky, but I feel like I'm going to try to go for the snow thing the next turn. Okay, Barry's doing damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have to reroll here and find the snow. Okay. No sick is good. Foxy's huge, actually. He's gonna hit all enemies. I should put Foxy in after he swings. Okay, I could put Barry in though. I could, I could stop him from hitting, but I think I want to do it the next turn. Three damage is not the worst thing in the world. And I want to play Foxy the following turn with the flame water. I don't want to play Barry either. I only have a maximum of one. Oh fuck, aimless. It's a random enemy in the target row. Oh my God. Apply to, okay, so we want to do this into this, right? I want to put Foxy in. Oh my God. So he's gonna hit Barry. How much do I care if Barry gets hit here? I kind of care if Barry gets hit. Let's do this. Use his attack. Barry getting hit's fine. Okay, so Barry's gonna kill. He's gonna hit this guy for five. She's gonna hit this, this, this. Oh, but they're doing three damage. Man, I should really do this. I believe the attack. Okay, hold on. I believe this is gonna work, right? Like he'll swing. No, her attack is delayed. I'm crazy. Hey, enemies always go first, in case you guys didn't know. I don't really care. He's gonna do one to Barry. I guess I just put Lil Barry in here. Okay, so they're going first. Let's re-roll here. I definitely want to kill him. Oh, it just ends the fight. <laughs> what? Gains what when other wild? What is that? Oh, how many times he attacks? Oh my god, I'm just fucked. Okay, we're doing that. Is 
Put on flame water on Foxy there, but I don't think. Oh God, I wish I. Okay, if I could go back in time, I would have put the first flame water on Foxy. It actually would have been insanely good, man. I let Barry attack this turn, and then we bring him back. We bring him back after. My brain is actually melting. Hold on. Really good, actually, if I can move Leo down and Sunrod. I actually think it's a Sunrod angle. Let me do this. Wait, does that? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We do this first. We bury back. Does this take my action chat? I don't remember. I'm gonna assume it does. It's one damage, but then Leo kills everyone in here. Thank you. I'm having fun. That seemed really good. Little Barry is kind of getting his ass clapped up here, and I don't want Little Barry to die for free. I think. I think I'm okay with this. He's gonna die this turn, right? Snow Boozle next turn. He's not gonna do anything. We could reroll our hand after. This kills the the Bam. This Foxy kills here. Nice. We'll bury back. So he's doing two times. So he's doing four damage. Leo is not doing anything yet. I could snow stick the boozle so that he doesn't do anything this turn and it delays. Probably correct. This is only in the lane, right? I think it crosses, right? I mean, it's pretty good. If I just sunrod this. Son of the Bell Hands, you get card drop plus one. Son of the Bell Fellowship, companion limit plus one. Son Bell of the Bell. Son Bell of the Bell, redraw Bell counter by one. Never seen Fellowship be good. I don't understand what that means by companion limit. Does that mean like outside of the game, I have an extra companion limit or is it more like max companion limits three? So I've already reached that then, right? These two are almost the exact same thing, but this is better. I'm gonna get the bell. All right, am I doing good chat? Is this good? What the hell is this cave about? I want to go to shopping. Okay, we don't need... So if I get another traveler, does that mean I have to get rid of a traveler? I don't know if I want to. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Open up. One hit, deal equal damage to the attacker. Wow, that is an extremely interesting card to get, to be honest. Target must be snowed. Oh my god, eight attack? Increase damage by two, barrage and consume. Hits all targets in a row, can only be concerned. Oh, oh, okay. Looks good. What the hell? I got some cash, bro. Nutshell cake. Apply nine health, or nine block, I guess. Reduced health by two, consume. Pretty good trade-off. Oh, I almost bought. Did I buy something? Yeah, but in Charm Machine, you can use Charm Machines to upgrade your card. Cards with crowns are always played at the... Always played at the start of battle? Excuse me. Does that count for... I mean, I, I think I'm going to equip it. Does that count for companions? Oh my god. So I could just always have like Foxy or Barry in? No, your name is Foxy. How, what the hell? Wait, what? What is happening here? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, what, what am I doing here? You can use Charms to upgrade your cards. You think that's good? Gain smack back. Countering attack after taking a hit. What the frick, yo, on Barry? Oh, yeah. Should I buy another one? My own. <laughs> on Foxy? Oh, my God. On him, too. It's pretty. No, it's, it's a Foxy angle. All right, dude. I think I'm, I think I'm gaming here. All right. How do I leave? Oh my god, it's actually pretty fun. Who the hell is this Grog Grumps and Moco head? Oh my god. So I want to kill this guy last, right? So this one's a lot more about the row. So Foxy's not good. When it hit, reduce the attackers by one. Oh my god. Can your attack go into the negatives? Oh, this is so weird. Foxy's actually not good against this. I don't know if I want to play this. It's bad here and it's bad here. I guess I just play it anyways. I mean, if it gets this damage reduced, it sucks. 12 health. I'm gonna sunrod this too. Just get rid of this guy right at the start. Okay, so Grog is absolutely clapped. He's not doing nothing. Could just do this now, I guess, right? So the problem with Leo being here is that Leo is gonna hit the Moko head, and I don't want him to hit the Moko head or them to hit the Moko head when more stuff spawns.
Wait, does he keep the buff though? If I, if I, I, I mean, he, he's gonna be trash if I don't do this, right? So I actually think I'm gonna do this. To reroll, right? Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh God. Escape from the battle? Does that mean I escape from the battle or do they escape from the battle? Because realistically speaking, I could just freeze this and just wait and then they just win how much do i like really care right only the goblin escapes i only get four gold for this seems a bit cringe so you're basically doing it for money okay i mean barry's gonna slap some ass here man but like okay i'm really worried for this i'm also scared for this thing i, I i'm like really tempted just to do this because i could freeze this just freeze this to be honest actually yeah he does 10 attack yeah Okay, let's kill this. A little bit of an issue. Oh my God. All right, I have to hope I get a sword. I thought they were... Mm. Okay, Foxy's here. Hey, buddy. You need to die. Oh my God. That thing is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, hold on chat. I got another thing here. <laughs> this is what the hell did my brain, man. The Barry gets hit by this. He smacks back. Okay, weird idea. What if I just scrap sword this? Well, I should Foxy first there, right? Probably don't want to die like that. Yo, Barry is popping off, bro. Let's go, Barry. So he's not doing anything for a couple turns, which is great. So we're doing uh this is a lot of damage. <laughs> um so I think I'm just gonna do this. Just kill this thing off so we just kill him next turn. Let's re-roll here. Kill this guy off. Okay. And snow stick this guy. Oh my god, Barry is just not fucking around here, bro. Dude, my brain hurts, man. This is tough. I, I've done more thinking in the past 40 minutes than I have with Hearthstone in the past year. When an ally is hit, restore their health by one. Harmonist makes little Barry get attacked. I guess that's fair. Sure. Again, another treasure I can charm. What the hell, chat? What the hell's a muncher? I guess we're going to see. Set health attack in this... Ooh. On Foxy? Um, one minus attack. No, but it's at two. I don't want to do that. It's still really good on her. I don't know how this interacts with the other one. Oh, it does. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. Wait, what? I don't know. Cards apply in the order you put them on. Fuck me. Is that Appa? What's up, bro? Hello. Drag defeat. Mon Mon Monchi likes to eat everything. You feed him items you don't want. But I don't have to give him anything, right? Is there anything I want to get rid of? Maybe get rid of a scrappy sword. Just one. I mean, even two at this point, right? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Eat that, buddy. I want to do both. Now it makes sense why you should keep charms for later. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I can tease him a bit. <laughs> Eat up. Grumble? What the hell is that? deal damage to the attackers okay so we definitely don't want foxy up here wait hold on well active and aimless oh fuck foxy's so bad here man foxy just dies man you thought foxy was gonna be sick and it turns out you're just an absolute clown okay you're not going in. I have to play her though, right? Oh, buddy. Okay, quick question for you, chat. Quick question. If one of my allies dies, are they gone forever? Or are they just gone for the round? Like, is Foxy just cut if, if it dies? No? 
Round? Okay. How do I kill Marrow? They're injured in extra round at 50% health. Oh no. But if they die twice, they're gone. Oh no. No, I don't want them to die. Oh no. I guess we'll see, right? All right, uh, I definitely want to kill Marrow here. The question is, how do I end up killing him? Because the, the problem with Marrow is that in five turns, more people are going to show up anyways, right? Okay. I, hmm, I think this goes down here, but I'm trying to think about what to do. I think I freeze this. Dude, I'm so, uh, so complicated. Snow stick slows down grumble but how important is that there's not really a great way for actually mm, maybe it's a little berry and i just wait a turn okay let's do this Barry's he's gonna chill for a bit okay do i freeze this dude so he doesn't swing he's gonna do two but he does damage to himself right like i, I don't think the three damage i don't think Little berry, little berry. Oh, wait, they're aimless. Hold on. They're aimless. There's a chance that Foxy just hits him with a spinner. I could discard my hand right now. Get the get the pink berry juice just so Foxy lives enough to actually clap some cheeks here. But I think that's wrong because I just it wastes my whole action, right? I like how I, I really like how I had infinite time here, man. If I didn't have infinite time, this would suck. I mean, the RNG aspect makes this extremely interesting because there's a chance that he just smacks this three times, right? That's a lot of damage. I hope for the best. It's a 50 50 <laughs> times three. Like if he hits this guy once, he's dead. So uh, I don't know if I really want to risk that. Maybe the better play here is just to give um, you the, the attack. I don't want it. I don't want that person to die. Oh, it doesn't barrage, right? Okay. Wait, wait maybe that was bad. Maybe that was bad. Oh, it probably was shit. Oh, it was shit to attack. Okay, Big Berry's going in. Oh, I didn't realize it was something on board. Dude, holy moly, I can't. My brain is melting, man. This is actually insane because they get more stuff next turn. This piece of shit. Oh my God. If I do this, he goes up to six, which means he restores a life back to him anyways, which is actually pretty good for me. And then he'll keep restoring life. But at the same time, like this gets, this gets fucked, right? Cause he's going to do two. This has one life. I don't want that to die, which means it should be like this, which means I should, oh, oof. he gets more attack. I need him bigger. Now we go here. If Barry dies, it's fine, right? This has aimless. I want to. Okay. If he hits us, he's dead. No, he's not. He's dead. We should do this. All right. Listen, motherfucker. Anything but the paw. All right. Oh God, he's gonna fucking take it. Anything but the paw. 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 Piece of shit. Oh fuck my ass, chat. Fuck my ass. Okay, hold on. Who's attacking? One plus one plus one. Or sorry, plus two is four. So you'll actually live. Barry will chill. Barry's chilling. We kill this. 
Wait, I'm I trolled. I just trolled. See you guys. Yeah, thanks for watching.